So it's been a pretty intense couple days keeping up with um, both the collecting, the de-hulling, the rinsing, and the starting of the drying process of nuts. And I wanted to just review it briefly. We're in mid-swing. I want to make a video at the end as well of what the total harvest is. Um, but these are, let's see, so these are heart nuts. No, these are butter nuts. Sorry. Um, collected these yesterday. Was processing this morning for a while, going through the last of the Japanese walnuts. Sure makes a mess, but whatever, it's all just organic matter. In the last video, I talked about cleaning these off. I'll link here to that, you know, with the paint mixer, strong drill, jet stream of water. I show all this. A couple good comments or questions came up of, hey, what about this murky water? Isn't that toxic for your plants? And yes, that's true. So I've been dumping this in the hedgerow or dumping it on wood chips. I find that after uh, you know, a couple months or so, the earthworms actually really love it. So I'm not considering it a waste product or something that is toxic or bad. I'm just putting it in, uh, not putting it directly in the garden. All that aside, I wanted to take a look at what it looks like after um, a good handful of hours of processing. So these are all butternuts. Um, so here's some racks that I made out of old hemlock actually new hemlock I should say and so there's two racks full these are finishing off in the sun and then later today they'll go in onion sacks and stay in our garage which has fans to move the air around there's a few thousand nuts there this morning's work was finishing up Japanese walnuts and they're a little smaller so they're on a finer mesh they're on half inch hardware cloth here these are just done so they're still super wet but we're in a moment right now where it's very sunny and very hot the next couple days. So I'm using it as an opportunity to clean and cure a lot of these. There's some more. These will be on the truck, which accumulates a lot of heat. It's a nice sunny position in the driveway here. And then some more on the far end of the driveway. So I'll say this. It's a mess. It's fairly intense labor. Um, it's time consumptive. But it's a window that, so for example, if you live in the Northeast, if you live in New York State, I'm assuming wherever you are in New York State, this year is a great year for walnuts. Black walnuts, Carpathian walnuts, butternuts, uh, anybody in the Juglins clan. The hickories should be incredible. And to put in the effort now so that all winter you have this feels insanely valuable. At this point, I would say between collecting, de-hulling, and rinsing, and getting onto drying racks, it is somewhere around a thousand nuts per hour of effort. And once this effort's done, and they're in onion sacks, and they're in a good storage space, they should last between two to upwards of ten years. If you don't let them get too hot, too cold, or too wet, uh, they should last many, many years. So, probably one of the most important activities I could imagine for the end of September from a resiliency standpoint, nutrition, quality of life, you know, self-sufficiency, all the different things. These are really worthwhile activities to consider. So we're only about a third of the way through. These are the nuts that are coming down now. The black walnuts are just beginning to fall. That's these. That's going to be the big hurrah. But they'll take the same treatment of being poured in the metal container, metal garbage can filled with water, agitated for a while with the paint mixer, dumped on a screen, shaken and mixed with water to have the initial pulp come off, sprayed with a jet stream, and then onto racks and then into the sun. So it's a workflow, especially if you had multiple people. I've been doing this mainly on my own. My wife helped me, helps me collect. But if you had a little crew together, a few of you invested in the drill and the mixer and you had a central place to do all this work, future design consideration would be if I want to set up a, uh, a yearly place to process these nuts is find a place that's nice and flat and design down slope of that a pawpaw and black cap grove that would adore all of the muck and then this way as we're processing we can just send it as an incredibly rich fertilizer for plants that adore it. But anyway, mid-processing update on these. 
we're leaving whatever nuts fall on the ground very intentionally for the squirrels and the chipmunks to make, you know, it's, I could pick through this and get every last one, but it really feels nice to see the squirrels coming in and grabbing them. They deserve it too. So it's a really an abundant uh, time of year. If you're doing the vegan thing, you're doing the self-sufficiency thing, any of those sorts of uh, lifestyles, this is really worth doing. Thanks for watching.